Welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't already, consider subscribing. It's free. You stay up to date on your favorite cryptocurrencies. Find out what stock I'm watching for the next week. Also, learn how to trade. I do weekly video lessons. Now, BTC on the monthly chart is looking pretty good. We had a nice run up, a very healthy pullback. And then we're continuing to break to the upside. We are now sitting at 66,000 with the high 67,000. Before we jump into lower time frames, I do want to look at the past in the 2013 bull market just to give you guys some reference on what possibly could happen. Now, we had very, very high volume on the bullish first bullish move of the 2013 bull run. We had a slight pullback, decreasing volume on the pullback, and then a higher volume doji candle, hammer candle to indicate a nice reversal to the upside. Then we had decreasing volume, which is not what you want to see. Even more decreasing volume, so it looks like it's going to round off. And then it just absolutely explodes. And we still don't even have that much volume compared to these pretty candles, but we're still pushing higher and higher and higher. Now in the 2013 bull run, we, from the top to the bottom, we pulled back to the 78.6 level. And then we could use our Fibonacci extensions to find a price target. Pulled right to that 3.618. Fib level so let's go ahead and do a potential price target for bitcoin now we had a very micro pullback and we pulled back right into that ote zone at that 61.8 so it didn't pull back as much go ahead and use our trend based fibonacci levels to give us a price target of around well that gives us around a 267 dollar price target if it plays out the same way now on the monthly time frame, we have 22 days left on this candle, so we should see a break. We might see some decreasing volume here, though. Um, once we break the high, I don't know, we might see it absolutely crack the highs and just continue to rip. Now, if we go ahead and zoom into the weekly chart, we had a very nice double bottom and a nice uptrend forming. This is one indication that I'm giving myself and that I'm using as a, um, as a tool to know when the bear market is coming. If we crack this uptrend, I am going to say that we are or classify that we are in a bear market because we had nice two touches, the 20 EMA and the 50 SMA or the 20 and 50 moving averages. If we crack both of those, we are most likely coming lower. I do not like to see decreasing volume on this move higher. It's telling me there's not a lot of sellers in the market. We had, this is very bearish to me. We popped over that high and then pulled back and closed below this previous, uh, the previous high. So we might be able to get rejected and, you know, the shorts are up 17% so far. And we might be able to see this start to, you know, round off and maybe start to kick off a little bit. But usually the shorts don't like to round off and kick off. You can see here that they just kind of pump. There are certain key levels where Bitcoin shorts are going to take over. And the, I don't think we're at that key level yet. We might be getting a little bit of action here, but I don't think we're going to see too much uh, shorts kind of come into the market, especially if we continue to crack these and crack the all-time high. If we go ahead and jump to the daily, we can actually see that we kind of have a cup and handle forming. Well, not the handle, but we kind of have a cup. So I would like to see today kind of consolidate somewhere in this area, not really break the all-time highs, but not really drop too far down. And then I would like to see a potential pullback of the cup and handle come back and test 62,000 or these highs right here. If we can come back and test that successfully and then have an increasing volume doji candle or something, then I would be confident that we are going to explode out of this cup and continue higher. If we go ahead and do a measured move, we can see that we have a price target of around $75,000. Now that's been my price target for the past three weeks. By the end of November, I think if we do continue to crack, we are going to see a $75,000 price target. Now, that is also going to be very, very key level because that is three quarters of 100,000. Half dollars, whole dollars act as support for smaller stocks. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 acts as very, very good support and resistance for larger cryptocurrencies. And then you have 25,000, 50,000. 75,000 and 100,000. Those four are very, very strong key levels, psychological support levels or resistance levels. If we also use our Fibonacci retracements from this micro pullback to the swing high, we can see that we pulled back right into that OTE zone between the 61.8 and 78.6 level. And that will also give us a price target of around, again, that same level, right in that OTE zone, right in this area. 
Now we have two reasons why I think Bitcoin is going to top out or maybe even just find some resistance at 75K if we do continue to crack. We don't really have much resistance until 75K. We do have that $70,000 psychological resistance, but I do think we'll crack that pretty easily if we do crack this $67,000 level. Now, lastly, let's go ahead and cover my buying strategy for the bear market. First, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the monthly chart. So the first thing is that Bitcoin Every single time the bear market has come, it has never gone lower than the previous high. We can see we have a high, never touched again. We have the 2013 bull run, never after we broke it, never touched again. Then we have this 2017 bull run, come back. This is the bull run for 2020 or 2021 bull run. We will most likely never come back and break this low again. If you take a Fibonacci retracement level from the 2012 bear market, the top of the 2013 bull market, we can see that we pulled back, or after that bull run, we pulled back right below the 78.6 level. And we take some from the 2014, 2015 bear market to the 2017, 2018 bull market, we can see that we pulled back right below that 78.6 level. And if we are going to use the fact that Bitcoin has never crossed back below the previous bull run high. We are going to take from the bear market low, the bear market high to where it just kind of skims, it never touches really that again. Now, if this is the high, it could come all the way down. Again, it could come all the way, go all the way up and then pull back and not touch the 20. Sorry, it just cut there, but let's go ahead and look at the 2013 bull market again. We can see that we had a small pullback in before ripping and then coming back and successfully retesting this previous high again this is also that 678 we broke that 78.6 level so let's go ahead and find out a price target take from the bear market to the low and again if we see it just came back successfully retested it that gives us a price target of around you know two hundred sixty six thousand dollars two hundred fifty thousand dollars could that happen yes is it possible yes am i waiting for this potential run? Absolutely. But am I putting everything in this bull run? Absolutely not. Have very, very, sm um, you gotta be very, very strategic about your investments. Now, history doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. So, again, there's my potential price target, long, long term price target of, I mean, potentially it could be around. 250,000, maybe 260,000 for Bitcoin. But let's go ahead and cover my opportunity or my buying opportunity for, for the bear market. If, you, if you're on the monthly chart, I like to use the 50 SMA. That is this dark blue line. Every single bear market would pull back, bounce, pull back, bounce, pull back, bounce. So I am looking for the same thing for this next bear market back on this 25th or this 50 moving average line. Now that's sitting at around 18,000 right now. And then if we go to the weekly chart, I use the 200 day moving average. We can see we bounced off in the bear market, bounced off here, bounced off here. So I am looking for that next move higher and that's sitting at around 17.6. And again, if we break this trend line to the upside, I do think we are going to see a correction back down to these levels. So it's really make or break for Bitcoin in the whole crypto market right now, either we're going to crack, come up and tap 75K, or you're going to have a minor pullback, potentially breaking the trend line, come down to our moving averages. Again, anything can happen. I'm just giving you guys my data, what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing. Again, I don't know anything. I don't know. I don't have any insider information. Nobody really does. But we, as traders, we all look at the market differently. And right now, this is what... I, I'm seeing, I don't really see bullish bearish. It's I'm going with the flow. I'm not trying to time the market and timing the market is where a lot of traders really, really, really mess up when you're like, oh, I would, I need to sell at the top. I need to sell at the top. You don't need to sell at the top. You just need to get an indication that, okay, now the sellers are in control. I'm going to sell now, even though it wasn't at the top. Let me give you guys an example. Broke above this previous high, pulled back, closed, very red, high, Increasing volume, bearish engulfing candle. That is your first sign to get out that from to catch this move lower. Again, I that would just the warning bells. I wouldn't be 
selling everything right there. You sell a little bit there. And as, okay, got more confirmation, increasing volume. Boom, we got a micro pullback before we actually continue lower. Thank you guys so much for stopping in today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. I hope this helped you guys out. And if it didn't, you know, maybe let me know down in the comments how I can help. I'm always willing to learn. I'm always willing to grow as a trader, as a content creator, as a... So as always, guys, thank you guys so much. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to get great content like this every single week. I post three times a week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.